The long wait for pothole weary drivers is almost over. Warmer and drier weather is clearing the way for those much needed road repairs. Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Nadine Woodward. Take a look at this graph. The city of Spokane says it's already filled 3,159 potholes so far this year. That's more than all of last year. And KXY4 is Jeff Humphrey working for you tonight at Thor and Third, where Spokane street crews are trying to smooth things over for commuters. They got a lot of work to do there, Jeff. <laughs> they do, Nadine, and if engineers wanted to study a worst case scenario for what could happen to a roadway, if a really cold winter joined forces with an unusually wet fall, then they'd be looking at the Thor Freya Cup. But, but now, as promised, the city of Spokane coming back to fix this swarm of potholes that literally stretches on for blocks. It was off the hook practically third world driving conditions. More than just an inconvenience, these prolific potholes along the Thor Freya couplet damaged cars and dinged drivers' wallets. Well, I hit a couple potholes coming up, approaching the curb. Here's the home where it punctured the tire. Potholes are a seasonal problem, but this year the divots seem bigger and deeper. An unusually wet winter had the asphalt literally floating on top of a saturated roadbed. That damage is because that subsurface is moving every time a car or a truck drives on it. And the more traffic on the road and the more it was already damaged, the worse it gets. Fortunately, the sun is out, the road is dry, giving street department crews their first crack at making more permanent repairs. Um, we've been using hot mix for a few weeks now mostly on pothole repair because we need a little bit longer window with no rain to be able to get in there and do the grind and overlay. So um, that's what we're starting to see. We see a nice little window this week, so we're going to take advantage of that. And as those windows increase, we're going to get more of that work done. Crews are grinding out all three lanes of Thor from 3rd to 11th, then in tomorrow or Thursday sunshine, erase all those bad pothole memories with a toasty layer of asphalt. In this case, you know, really what we're doing is a grind and a thin overlay. This isn't a full dig out. It isn't a full depth um, uh, repair, but it's going to make that, that drive so much smoother and so much better for our citizens. Nadine, some of those full depth repairs are scheduled for places like Sharp Avenue in front of Gonzaga, as well as the Sunset Hill, but they will not get in our way until 2018. And so in the meantime, you will see potholes repaired on those streets as well, but not to the extent that you're seeing here on the Thor Freya Couplet. Reporting in Spokane, Jeff Humphrey, KXOI 4. All right. Thank you, Jeff. We have